out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we say middle of nowhere, but it's here in the boat with like, like electronics. Yeah. So maybe a little rhyme or reason to it. He or is. He may be middle of nowhere. Dude, he is cold. What is going on, guys? This is Eric from Atypical Outdoors. And today we have an insane, I mean, insane unboxing. This is something I've been wanting for a super long time, guys. It was supposed to happen before, it didn't happen, the timing wasn't right, something came up, but oh my God, it happened now. And I'm, I'm like a kid in a freaking candy store, man. I am super geek, super excited. I, I don't even get excited. And also guys, we have a tackle unboxing. Some of it's open, some of it's not, from like three or four vendors that I actually picked up over the past month, getting ready for the spawn and getting ready for some of these big fish moving up. So without further wait, let's hop into this box and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So, let's go. Well, guys, it's right here, man. Let me show you. Da, 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 da. Look at this, man. This is gonna make the Pelican Bass Raider legit. This is the Gorman Fish Finder. This is the Striker Plus 7SV. Legit, guys. I'm gonna go a little closer. It has side scan. It has like a down scan. It has a GPS tracking system to where you can make your own maps on small bodies of waters, lakes. Uh, just a really cool tool to have, guys. The summer big bass are not gonna be safe anymore when they go deep. I'm thrilled to have this. I'm so thankful, man. I've been waiting for this for so long. My wife was geeked up when I told her it came in. Uh, and she was like, hey, I know you wanted one of these forever. So I feel like, guys, this is going to take the channel, the channel to the next level. Like I said, I can break down bodies of water. I can explain it to you guys better. And we can see what's going on with those fish down there. So I am super thrilled. I can't wait to put this on the Bass Raider. It's going to be pretty badass. <laughs> a 7-inch screen on a 10-foot boat. So let's get it. Let's make it happen, guys. And I'm gonna have to learn how to lose these electronics. So it's gonna be a very, very cool adventure. And I am the real guys. So this is going to the Bass Raider. Hopefully I can get it installed soon. Uh, and also guys, I wanna do a couple tournaments in the Bass Raider. So I am ready. Oh, speaking of tournaments, hold on. Look at this man, you boys get ready. I have a uh, Ego tournament weigh-in bag. Guys, it's getting real, man. I can't wait to put a fish in this bag and hopefully a giant fish at that. So let's get into the rest of this stuff. Let's move this big box down. So this comes in from a pretty cool company uh, called Carolina Fish and Tackle. Uh, really unique company. They carry a lot of Japanese baits, baits you can't find in other places. Uh, even baits at Tackle Warehouse don't even have some time. So this is a pretty unique company. Uh, like I said, it's out of uh, Morrisville, North Carolina. One day I actually want to visit and check it out in person. They carry swim baits and everything else. So let's get into this box. Oh, man. They got this thing protected, man. About to make a mess, guys. All right. So first thing we got in here is some um, tungsten weights. You know, guys, I actually been doing some flipping and punching recently, so these are half an ounce. I needed some tungsten weights. This is the first time this year I actually began to buy tungsten weights. They are super expensive, man, uber expensive. And, you know, I try to cut costs when I can, but tungsten weights are smaller. You feel fish better. Uh, they're great for flipping and pitching. So these are the Picasso model, half an ounce. I want to show you guys these. I got a couple different packs of these just to show y'all. These are very unique baits. Give me a couple seconds. I'm going to get them out. All right, I'm going to show you guys a couple of these. This is called the Flashing J Split. There you go. Going close. So realistic. This is a 7 inch model. They come in at $10 per pack. Let me see if I can open them up to show you guys. These things look so real. And it's a really cool thing about them, too. Once I get them open, I'm going to show y'all. These would be great for when, you know, the shad spawn occurs and those bass are feeding up on shad. Shad are also, man, if I just throw out this past a big bass on bed that I don't notice on bed, a fish in murkier water, I'm sure it's going to grab this bait. It's, it's pretty massive. I like swimming baits, and I also like having baits that's bigger than a normal bait. And this thing is super realistic. So let me show you guys this. 
This thing's insane. It actually feels like a fish. So check that out, guys. And inside it has aluminum foil. So a fish, whenever it bites it, it's supposed to feel like it's breaking bones. And also it gives you a flash. But you guys, you can hear the aluminum foil in this bait. It is super duper realistic. That again, let me tell you the name of it, is the Flash J Split. It comes in at tons of sizes. This is the bigger one. Like I said, this one's seven inches. They make a five inch one. I also believe they make a four inch one. Uh, this bigger one comes in at ten dollars with three in a pack. So really unique, cool bait. It's kind of like a uh, fluke style bait. But there you go. I just want to go in closer. Super unique. Let's see if you can hear it. You guys, you can hear the aluminum fall in it. It looks really real. So this bait should get crushed. All right. So let's get into the next one. I was, let me give you guys a better look at this color. That's that color also too. So this is like the neon color. And this one also reminds me of the uh, Shatter. So really cool baits. I got three packs of those because I figured they're going to be legit. And I didn't want to run out of them because they're kind of hard to find. Shouts out to Ted Lincoln Fishing for recommending those. Now, guys, also for all my flipping and punching adventures, got some more stuff. All right, so we got the owner jungle hooks. Let's see. There you go. That's a four alt. And we also got the three alt. Super strong hooks. Owner to me are some of the best hooks in the game, especially with swim baits. The owner beast hook. Uh, is known so these are should be great for like punching and they shouldn't bend out because they are stout hooks so three out and a four out so good hooks all right let me see what else we got in here so in a car carried out fishing so i don't have any affiliation with those guys uh they just have some pretty unique stuff so that was that first order this is a quick pickup for bass pro shop i actually went down to the bass master classic and I uh, bought a couple things too. But this is from the way back from the Bassmaster Classic. So we're gonna speed it up. Don't wanna waste too much of you guys' valuable time. So first we have uh, the Gambler, the four inch ugly otter. This is a flip and a punching bait that I'll be using. And guys, you can't hardly go wrong with black and blue. Just a great color, especially for dirty and stained water. And Gambler always has that garlic smell. Super strong. Next one is going to be Missile Baits. This is a classic, the D-Bomb. So, there you go. This is a slim profile bait that can get into those uh, heavy cover areas for flipping and punching. So, that is that bait. And also, guys, you probably try to notice a theme. A lot of stuff is geared towards punching, flipping, uh, the shad spawning, and also bass spawning. So, there we go. That's shad color again. This is the rip and rattle, the loud rattle version uh, for Rapala. And we go in closer, another shad color. So I'm trying to get geared up, guys. I'm trying to get ready. When I buy tackle, a lot of times I buy tackle for certain places. A lot of the places I fish have shad, so I'm trying to get tackle to resemble shad or a bluegill. So that was the Bass Pro Shop stuff. So. All right. So now, guys, you've seen these baits before a whole lot. I have a color you haven't seen. This is an unreleased bait. So this is actually a site base, a company I work with, man. I love their base. But this one is the real deal. And I'm going to tell you exactly why I got these colors. So like I said, this one hasn't came out yet. So you guys get to see this first. But these are floating lizards. I got black and blue because in Georgia, I always see black and blue lizards around the water. Uh, and I know bass feed on them. So it's exactly matching the hatch. Now with this one, I'll probably actually put it on a shaky head and that lizard is gonna go nose down. I'm gonna be using this to fish in beds and it has this tail. So that bait is gonna be nose down like a shake it in the bed with this tail up in the air because it floats. This should aggravate those bedding bass. I know a lot of guys like to use white colors to be, make sure they can see their bait, but this one matches the hatch so much more and it's black and blue. Uh, which matches those colors of the lizards I see all the time. So this bait is killer. Bed fishing, a lot of times lizards are known as a great bait to use for bed fishing. Really cool bait. I actually caught a good bit of fish in a creek uh, with these lizards. So hopefully they come out soon and that's going to be like a 2020 release, uh, what I hear. Now guys, this is my favorite chatterbait trailer. You got the Shad Nasty. 
we have it in pearl white. And then also we have the Tennessee Shad. Let me show you the Tennessee Shad. I only had it a few times. Um, a lot of times it's sold out on the website. Let me show you. Look at that, guys. It looks just like a Golden Shiner or a Perch. So really cool colorway. That's a Tennessee Shad. All right. Let's get into a couple more baits. Let me put this back in here. Don't want to mess them up. <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are getting all ready for the spawn and getting all geared up. In most parts of the country, it's starting to occur. Bass are beginning to move up, and some of them are already on bed. All right, now to sight baits, guys. Let's move into the next group of baits. Shout out to Taco Warehouse. This is where it gets kind of ugly. <laughs> guys, most of the time, I am a humble guy. I'm not about to be humble when I say this right now. These two baits, the Matt Lures Ultimate Gill Baits. If I see a fish on bed, it's caught. These are phenomenal baits for fish on bed. I'm gonna take one out and I'm gonna show it to you. Um, if I see a bed fish on bed around you and you fishing with me and you can't catch it, if I pull this out, it's game over. I'm gonna catch that fish. So this is the Matt Lord's Ultimate Gill. This thing looks just like a blue gill. You actually can see the fans on the side. They flare out too. Uh, really cool thing about this bait is it's weighted fairly heavy in the front. This bait will sit directly down on a bass bed and I can shake it in place back and forth, keep it in the same place and just aggravate a big bass. So it is so deadly, but I will keep it 100% with you guys. I call this bait a one and done bait. You may catch one fish and this bait is destroyed. Keep minute on deck. But I got two. I'm not throwing this bait on the fish's bed unless that fish is eight pound plus. This is a 20, I think $6 bait. I'm not gonna waste my money. So it has to be an eight pound bigger bass for me to throw this bait. Frustrated. <laughs> I call these a one and done bait. Phenomenal bait for bed fishing. Or you can fish it like a jig and drag it on the bottom. This is the flat tail model. All right, sorry about being cocky. But uh, I feel like I'm a pretty good bed fisherman. And for all the guys who say it's super easy, if you fish super pressure waters for fish that's 10, 12 pounds, it's not easy. I have spent upwards two or three hours on one fish. I sit in the rain. For probably three hours trying to get the 12 pound that they wouldn't commit it was the worst day of my life all right let's see a couple cool baits to show you guys too these are strike king i'm gonna call them the plus size square bills so what they are is magnum size square bills this is the 8.0 size this is the 4.0 size i'm gonna be fishing a lot of rivers that have shad uh, a lot of reservoirs that have shad and bigger lakes. So I wanted to bait the match that hatch. And I like it throwing, I like throwing bigger baits than a normal person. And uh, with these baits right here, you can work them very slowly among the bottom. And I fish a lot of places that have stump. So these will deflect directly off things being a square bill. So those are the strike kings. So as I was talking about flipping and punching, I have a one ounce weight for Picasso and also an ounce and a half weight for Mustad. So heavier weights for that heavier cover. Now, pretty unique hooks. This is gonna be the Quattro decoy hook. It's actually a hook I'm gonna be using for my swim baits and testing out. I heard a lot of guys say great things about these. They actually have four hooks instead of a three treble hook bait. I'm gonna be using it on a couple different baits, especially some of those weight baits where bass is kind of suck them down. And hopefully I can keep some of those bass pinned. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. This is the one bait that I actually bought from the Classic, and that is, let me take it out, that's the Bull Shad 4x4. If you guys are not familiar with it, I kind of break it down a little bit more. So, this bait is essentially a huge shad with a square bill on it. So what this does is deflect off of trees, laydowns, when you're fishing in a place that has a lot of laydowns, you can throw this directly on top of the laydowns and you can crank it down. Uh, to probably, I guess, like around a foot or so. Um, and it deflects off things. I'm going to be using this a whole lot in the rivers uh, for those shoal bass and also for largemouth bass. 
the fish those lay downs in places where you can't throw normal swim bait. So really cool bait gas has that massive bill up front. Uh, this thing is big from what I hear. It's just pretty much cast and retrieve. And from what I hear, it is insane. Well guys, that wraps up everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys go out there and get on some giant fish. I mean, big ones. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have any tips or if you want to put down below what baits you like to use for the spawn, feel free to. Well, guys, have a great day. Tight lines, take care, and we'll see you on the video soon.